Hey everybody, John Upper here, the Trust and Connection Maximizer. It's the middle of March in 2021. Have you ever had someone make your day for you? Do you remember how it felt? Do you remember the circumstances leading up to it? Do you remember what all happened and how it made you feel? Like it was incredible. You felt energized. You felt like you were being noticed. You felt like what you did mattered. Have you ever done that for somebody else? Did they know about it? Was it anonymous? All these things are things that make a difference in creating extraordinary relationships, in developing trust and connection, not just in the workplace, not just an employee experience, but in our lives together as we work with our coworkers, from boss to employee, from coworker to coworker, from family member to family member. It really helps to build those relationships. Now, this happened to me. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was a fairly new teacher. I was a band director. I was working really hard with my kids to get them ready for the All City Band Festival. Now, the way it worked is we had a guest conductor come to our classroom, work with our kids. Longest 45 minutes of my year, every year. And it happened every year. It was long because here I was on display for somebody who was a professor at a college or who was a, a conductor in the professional world. And here they were working with my middle school kids. It was a little nerve wracking for me because I felt like I was really struggling, really struggling to make them be as ready as I needed them to be. And it was also myself comparing how the other bands were going to be and how mine compared to them. It was a little tough for me. My boss, my supervisor, his name was Larry Simons. He pulled me in one day to his office. He said, John, he said, you're struggling a little bit, aren't you? I said, I am. He said, I've looked in your folder. I saw that you had a schedule outlined. It was pretty thorough, but it didn't really help you get prepared, did it? I said, no, it really didn't, Larry. It really didn't. That was kind of the end of the conversation. I knew that he saw that I was struggling, that I was frustrated, but it really didn't go any further than that until the following year at Banorama. I had taken my kids to this retreat, this three-day retreat, and we worked hard on this piece. It was called Instant Concert. Oh, it was extraordinary. The band played really well. They played so well. About two days later, in my mailbox, there was a letter. Un it just had my name on it, so it came through interschool mail. It was from my boss. It was four paragraphs, four, not three, not two. And it was a letter, not an email. Tells you how long ago it was. And he spent those four paragraphs acknowledging that I had really done well with my kids, that he was congratulating me for the work that I did, for the work we did together, for how my kids showed up at Bandorama. Four paragraphs. I was up here. I was up here. Now, that $1,000 bonus check that was in my envelope, uh, you forgot I was a public school teacher. That doesn't happen to public school teachers. There was no $1,000 bonus check. But I will tell you this, if there was, it wouldn't have held as much weight and had as much value to me as the four paragraphs did. The four paragraphs were affirming that I was doing good things with my kids, that I was making a difference with them, that I was having impact. Four paragraphs. I don't know how long it took him to write it, but that, so that was 30 years ago. 30 years ago, that's the impact it had. I'm carrying it with me to this day. While I don't physically have the letter anymore, I have the intent and the feeling that it did. It made my day, it made my year. I was ecstatic. And to him, it might have only been four paragraphs. To me, it was way, way more than that. He made my day. He made my year. It was validation for the hard work I was doing. And it was extraordinary. I really, really, really felt good about that. Well, how hard is that for you? Do you have to write a four paragraph email to a coworker or to an employee of yours? Do you have to spend four paragraphs of time to let them know that you really value them, that what they're doing is making a difference? No, you don't. A post-it note would do it. A text, not as good. It would be even better if you called them up or you walked down to where they were working and said, hey, I just want to tell you, the work you're doing for our team is extraordinary. It's spot on. I really appreciate you and your, con and your contribution. 
that's it. How much time did that take? It took, if we look back on the video, it probably took me about 10 seconds. 10 seconds to make somebody else's day. Think back on when somebody made your day. Think about how it made you feel. Think about being acknowledged and validated for who you are as a human being and who you are in that place, in the workplace, in the association, in the community, at your church, in your relationships with other people. Think how it made you feel. Cloud nine, right? It exists. There is such a thing as cloud nine. I've been on it. That four paragraph letter did it for me. How about you? Can you do that for other people? Can you lift them up? Because people want to be acknowledged. They want to be recognized. They just want to know that what they're doing matters. And you can do that in a short amount of time, in a little bit of effort. And it will make all the difference. I guarantee it. It's going to create trust, connection, dramatically improve employee experience, and it is going to raise people up to their highest potential. Think about that. It's going to raise people up to their highest potential. Isn't that what we want to do? Whether it's at work or it's in our relationships in our personal life, don't we want to raise the other person up to their highest potential? Not ours. We want to raise them up to theirs. That's where trust and connection happens. That's where extraordinary relationships are created. And you'd be amazed at the profound effects and the profound benefits that's going to pay you. Not just for a week or two or three or a year. Remember, I got that letter 30 years ago. I'm John Nepper.